<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Mohab Rizqala, the one behind uh, Miniature Craze. Uh, if you've been part of my Patreon uh, last year, you would know that um, I promised I, could, I would come back with uh, a huge campaign in 2021, and <laughs> that's the one. Um, actually, after test printing the uh, items I've designed so far, I thought it's, it'll be a good idea to have a video like a walkthrough what would you get exactly because I found like a lot of things all over the place uh, so basically um, of course you have the main uh, campaign and you have add-ons as for the add-ons mainly it is um, based on my previous releases on, the, on Patreon last year and for the main campaign you have the corset okay and you have the all in all in you get the corset and the stretch goals as well so uh, let's start um the first thing here is the free mini anybody would uh get that i'll upload it for free in my mini factory um that's how you know the quality of the uh, miniatures I'm having and of course if you have any feedback I would always welcome that uh, let's have a closer look yeah, here you go here it is um, a king pharaoh with his war crown uh, usually that if you want to paint that um, you want to stay true to the history you would do it in blue and gold that's the war crown whenever the king goes to war he wears that okay and then you have the core set um oh. you get carrot okay let's get that closer as well you have two horses carrot and two soldiers i didn't include these yet because you could change them if you want with any other miniature I don't know whether you can see that or not you can replace them with uh, whichever miniature you want okay whether with the base or without the bases uh, let's have a closer look at the original one here Okay, so <clears throat> there it is. Okay. So basically of course that comes in, in many parts that I glued it together. So you have one, two and then the body of the horses, the heads separated, and the wheels are separated as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, just to make it easier for you to print it. <coughs> and then you have that guy in two pieces, the shield and the guy himself, and then the one as one piece. Just a piece of knowledge. I always wondered how Whoever is riding the carrot is, is having the balance to um, shoot his arrows. And researching, I found out that this part here, they would just put the knee, okay, to stick the knee there to give them balance. So they, they put the knee there, okay, so whenever it's running, they have the balance. Just for you to know, maybe it, it will help you out in your campaigns. <clears throat> that was the chariot. Let me just check here. And then you have Abu Sindel Temple. Okay, you'll have two versions of that. I only printed one of them. One that is um, actually reflecting the current status of the temple. It's a, it's a real temple, right? So it's reflecting the current status of the temple, broken. Uh, low damage here and there 
Um, this temple is built or actually um, engraved in the mountain by uh, King Ramses II or Ramses the Great. Um, as very well, I, well I understood or why I read that it imagine him or it's not imagine him actually reflects his uh, image when he's young and when he's older right so these are four uh, different Ramses second or the great uh, in different times in his life he did celebrate his victory in Kaddish battle um, the interesting thing about this temple is twice a year the sun would travel all the way through the temple okay and will sh like will, will will drop on his face okay so how the temple is set from the inside let me show you So, from the inside, you would have... Okay, that's the first hole. Second hole. And then you have King Ramses and four of, or three, other, three of the gods, right? Uh, I believe that was the god of death. The sun would never go uh, and shine uh, on his face. And the other ones would always go on their faces. Um, two days every year. They say that most likely these are the birth date and the day he was crowned, okay? Uh, why am I saying that? Because it will be interesting if, if you're running like a custom campaign or something and uh, you wanna have like ideas of um, interesting things <clears throat> if you're running uh, I mean, like a campaign if you're running a campaign custom campaign it will be nice uh, if you thought about something happens during these days maybe uh, a gate will open maybe um, some something extraordinary would happen when the uh, sun shines on his face okay uh, i found it interested interesting so that's why i made the temple again you'll get two copies of that one that is reflecting the current status and one that is not damaged okay um the way it was when they built it okay why is that because i don't know how you want to play your campaign if you want to play it um in 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 modern not modern if you want to play it in in a more uh like <clears throat> because if you want to play your campaign why i made that because if you want to play your campaign <clears throat> you maybe uh okay i'll scratch that okay Next, uh, you have the statues back. I don't know whether you can see it. Let me see here. Mm, most of it. So the statues back, you have five of each uh, design. Okay. Uh, these again are making the actual designs of statues you will have in, in Egypt. Um, so the king saying in his throne um the king standing and this is most likely when the king is dead you know it's like mummified with <clears throat> he's mummified with some of the inscriptions written there why you have five of each <clears throat> why you have five of each um that you have five different crowns again grounds you have this one here okay uh, that is actually let me confirm that is the red crown okay of upper egypt when you say upper egypt that's the south okay upper egypt used to wear that crown 
Lower Egypt, which is the north, used to wear that white crown, okay? Combined crown, okay, for, for a united Egypt, they made a combined crown when they put the white in the red and they made up a new crown. Combined crown with the traditional Egyptian hairdress, only traditional Egyptian um, hair dress. Uh, again, you'll find all of these combinations in the actual Egyptian um, statues. And the reason I, I like made it happen again because um, if you're running custom campaign and you want to have like that variety, you want to have um, the north and actually the south and the north fighting each other, or whatever, um, you could have the theme around what you want. Then <clears throat> you have five archers. Okay. We'll have them close by the camera. Okay, here you go. That is one. These are undead archers. Okay, you'll find them in the design of the uh, characters themselves, the faces, the way they are dressed and everything. <clears throat> Same query for everybody. Oops. And here we go. Of course, the arrows themselves are very fragile when you remove the um, support. Just try to clip them. Okay. <clears throat> And you get five swordmen. Here you go. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, here's one that I actually painted. I know that my paint jobs are not the best, but they help show the details. These arrows here, sorry, these arrows, you will get them separately in the campaign um you could just print them and put them wherever you like put them in their body shields the ground on uh, the bases it's up to you right i thought it's a nice idea to have them um again very fragile i just cut them i didn't even think about removing the uh, the uh, support uh, without clipping without cutting it okay so that's how i thought of the mini when painted <clears throat> that one the googles okay another i like the pose of that one actually try to make a variety of the have the are dressed the headdress, the armor, and everything. Even the shield, they have two types of shields there. <coughs> then you have two other things that I didn't really decide yet whether to have them included in the corset or as add-ons. Why is that? The first thing is the city gate. It's huge, right? And the second thing is the dungeon tiles, all right? So why? I'm not sure yet to have them in the um, core set. Uh, one, because of the city gate, I know many people would not like to have that big uh, chunk um, of terrain they just like small terrain pieces to put here and there in their uh, campaign <clears throat> so Anna, I don't, I don't, I don't want to add more uh, price to the campaign because something maybe 
a lot of people would not be interested in. Um, I love how it came out exactly the way I want it to be. Uh, but again, I don't want to overload the campaign with something maybe some people would not like it. Uh, so I think the best thing is to have it as a separate add-on for the campaign. Let's go see what's uh, coming with it. But before that, the, the second thing is the dungeon tile. The dungeon tiles, I mean, I love how it came out, but it's my first time ever to design a dungeon tile project still in testing phases uh, basically what I'm doing here is uh, I'm trying to make the connectors simple um, rectangular parts like this um, facing challenges still testing it's not the final project yet okay but again I like the way it came out um, most likely I, I have printed the walls in uh, not the right way I printed them standing and that caused some failures uh, in the bottoms plus the support actually came it's really hard to remove not like when I printed these guys here uh, standing on the side the support was really really easy to remove right just even with your hand you can just remove it okay uh, so I'll reprint these most like these are only a couple of pieces anyways I'll try to print them sideways uh, because of support and the quality of the print as well so what you get in the dungeon project is easier to cover first uh, you get two um, walls with statues male and female king and queen you get two walls with um Isis or Isis, however you pronounce it. Okay, I'm Egyptian by the way, so when when whenever I speak about something Egyptian, you know like we have our own pronunciation to it. So we say Isis, uh, Osiris. It's not Osiris, it's not Isis or whatever. Uh, so I'm trying to uh, get to the uh, like the pronunciation everybody's uh, else is as is saying, but again uh, <laughs> I might slip. Okay, and you have the no regular wall um, tiles, which is basically with all the hieroglyphic uh, in it. The back of these walls, you have two different types. You have the wall with the stones, okay, and you have again another one mimicking the regular uh, wall for the dungeon. So basically, if you want to put that in the middle of the uh, 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 if you're set, you know, so it's, it's basically facing here or there, you will not have a problem. But if it's on the outside of the dungeon, you could just simply use this. Okay. Uh, for the ground, you have three different symbols. Okay. See that should be standing like that. I am print failure. Okay. And you have a decorated tile, okay, and then um, some of the tiles for you to create um, bigger uh, 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 square with decoration. Maybe you have something inside. Maybe you have uh, the coffin with something in the middle. It's up to you, okay. <clears throat> and of course you have. Well, it's actually two types of uh, round tiles, but there's no difference in the print. <laughs> this one is really, really close to each other, so I would not call them uh, two. You could consider you have one. Okay. So again, I'm I'm not gonna put that in the core set, okay, uh, because again, it's um, experimental. I'm still testing, um, so I don't want to have bad impact of people maybe having it expecting something like overwhelming and uh, having some challenges with it the most important thing for me is feedback when that goes out I'll do my best to have it as neat and and less work on it 
with it, the connectors, uh, the support and everything. But again, feedback would be great. So moving on to the um, city grid. Okay, uh, again, it's a huge project. Uh, you have two guards. I don't know, but let me see whether you can see that or not. Yeah, kind of. So you have two guards on the gate. I have one of them is Horus. Okay. Of course, you can print that in, in a smaller scale to have it miniature size. I'll do that. Like, like I'll, I'll do some, like two of them. One that statue size and the other one is going to be miniature size. So it helps you in the game. And you have Anubis. <clears throat> As for the gate, you have the gate itself. I didn't paint it yet. You have the door like that. So just push it if you want to open it. Then you have two parts on each side side of the gate. Okay, that's how I, I know it's horrible <laughs> color uh, scheme, but uh, yeah, I don't like it. Okay, you have the flag. You have a small statue here, and you have. Then you have two varieties of wool. You can just use whatever you want. And of course, that one is flipped. So you have on the other side, it is flipped. You know, so if you want to put it in the right on the left, it's up to you. And then you have column okay you could just put it there and all of the oh by the way all of them are having straight cut okay so you could just put whichever you want beside the other one and it will not not be a problem at all even in the that um part here it's not gonna be a problem at all okay any any kind of combination you want to put you'll be able to okay so these are the walls column and then you have the tower okay that's removable have your guards on top of the tower again straight cut here straight cut there so you could have it as a corner piece Like this, and you cannot see it. <laughs> so basically, here you go. You can have that one here, and yeah. that one there. So I've designed it to have it as a corner piece for. Um, your city, your castle, whatever you're building. Okay, so fits perfectly. Then you have two pieces of stairs. Two pieces of stairs. Okay, so you could add them at the back of the wall for your soldiers to come up. Then of course you can have your uh, miniatures standing here. It's not really straight, but they stand perfectly fine. <coughs> Oops, I broke it. Okay, 
so let's see what's next okay by that um everything i'm thinking at the moment to have it in the core set might change my mind afterwards it wouldn't be really set to the page yet is covered so you have five swordsmen swordsmen five archers statue set carried with two soldiers free many of course and yeah depending over what i would decide dungeon tiles city gate okay are add-ons i might include one of them at least to the corset i didn't room i didn't decide yet and of course you have the simple two of these okay new one and old one next we cover the tiers some of the items of tiers so each tier i'll have one playable character okay um like warrior sorcerer rogue whatever okay then inside get the classes which i would start with and which i'll end with and then different pieces of uh, uh, uh whether terrain heroes or monsters whatever okay so for the first um tier have a lot of things are ready here we have the coffin Tut uh, it's based on Tutankhamun's um, coffin okay so here it is and you can open it and you have him mummified okay of course you can remove that as well then you have this piece here broken statue you could just randomly put it in your table or it's basically that broken statue if you visit the actual site in egypt you'll have it broken and left on the ground <clears throat> column pack you'll have this column and that one big one small one And you have Isis or Isis, I don't know how to pronounce it, and that is she. I have two varieties of her, one I didn't really uh, print yet, and this one here. <coughs> Second tier, oh, by the way, the starting the first year is only two thousand dollars so i hope hopefully it's uh it's not gonna be a big deal so uh most of these things i believe will be unlocked anyways the second year planning for cleopatra uh have it yet didn't sign it inside it yet and then you have opalist pack they are free okay so you have the damaged one and you have that design here i tried to have it in the in a dark uh, darker background in a golden background or even yellow if you want to if you don't want to use the uh, gold <clears throat> then you have a more futuristic design i had an issue here with the print um like shifted a little bit i don't know why okay so again dark and light ideally that should be gold golden inside and you should have five more soldiers spearmen i already started working on them and dungeon gates for the dungeon project you have gates and then you have Horus, you could have it as Horus Reed, depends on the campaign, your campaign. <clears throat> Here we go. Then didn't paint it yet. 
run out of time. <clears throat> that would be the second tier third tier again playable character town folks the great pyramid of giza 103 i didn't sign yet and then some dungeon probes and the time portal here we go so what is this you have first summoning a uh, circle. So we're gonna put it in people's summoning, sorry, wizards, whatever. <clears throat> and then the idea was to have like the stairs where you're flying in the air, right? Because summoning the storm and then they summon the gate. So it's flying. The stairs are <clears throat> Uh, flying as well okay and then you have here okay that one is a scene as if this gate is making you travel to a different dimension um, I have here it's, it's around in the Egyptian scene right Hopeless can temple and houses and everything. Uh, it's not really me drawing it. I actually sculpted it a little bit so you could just follow the sculpt. You don't have to have that painting. Oh, sorry, yeah, painting skills. You have four more items to put in here. It depends on how you want it to happen. Okay, and again, if you want to have it. At a simple gate on the floor, maybe a cave gate, oh, sorry, cave uh, yeah, door or something, you could just put that piece here. Okay, so let me see. These were field prints, I didn't really. Um, have another go at them yet but this one is broken or broken uh, 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 rocks actually it should be that side here I mean that's filled like the details are not there at all uh, really bad print but it gives you an idea how it should look like another one just broke I broke it should be like this okay and a door and a wall okay so you have one two three four five different pieces to put together again after i tried to print the inside port with an fdm machine i didn't like the results so that's basically resin okay all other parts are fdm filament except for the stairs again are resin i didn't like the result for the with the fdm machine okay so that is one project i'm really proud of <clears throat> then again playable characters town folks egyptian plants like horn uh, and other things like uh then you have brutes and then you have the leech sorcerer here's the one try my best for to, to have like a good painting job I hope I did a good job there now of course not the best but it shows a lot of the details I wanted to show okay so I think 
I have covered all the ready pieces, okay? Um, there are some of the items that I have not designed yet that I would love to um, mention in the stretch goals, of course. So we have, there's an idea here or a goal to have that as an undead uh, carrot, undead horses, maybe have some modifications on the carrot itself, the body, to reflect the decor uh, of the undead, the theme, undead theme. Um, in case you're playing, Egyptians are uh, undead, so you can have that with you. Um, of course, you have uh, traditional town like houses. You have the pigeon uh, house, which is tradition till day. They have it in the in the in the villages, uh, rural side of Egypt. Uh, it's pretty nice. Like gives that authentic uh, feel. Uh, just something called the shaduf as well to get the water out of these small canals. Uh, I'm planning to have that uh, wind wheel. You know all of these traditional things that used to be in Egypt or still are actually in Egypt uh, that give that authenticity to to your table when you're having that Egyptian theme I have them there so basically I thought about <coughs> having playable characters themed with Egyptian um, or Egyptian themed town folks buildings whether um, houses uh, pigeon towers plants even plants you know like palm trees um let's look for me here what is that over there like different type of plants um i don't have i don't remember the, the the names i put there in my research but it would be nice all right and you have um planning as well to have dead soldiers dead uh, uh civilians um would have nice touch in certain campaigns um a lot of deities like osiris is going to be there um shares which is past it or sekhmet or sekhmet or past all these same names for the, for the same character it depends on what the background story you have uh if you're having the dnd uh, forgotten realms um background so shares or past or pastet uh, if you have the Egyptian background, which is very rich, by the way, if you read about the War of the Gods, um, is this like read, read the story about the Isis and uh, Osiris or Osiris and Isis? Okay, it's it's a very very strong rich story. You could build a lot of things around it if you want. I uh, might have a link in my YouTube uh, about it in the description. Uh, involves a lot of deities. So this is basically war of the god, gods, right? So you have Anubis, Horus, Isis, or Is Osiris. Um, you have Set. You have uh, Subic. All of them. All of them, right? And then you have, of course, Water Wheel. And that's one of the things I want to add as well. Uh, and Book of the Dead. That is one of the things I want to cover. What is Book of the Dead? It is one very strong um, thing, okay, you know, like they used to, like, like Egyptian, ancient Egyptians used to bury their kings in pyramids, big pyramids, great pyramids, right? And then during the weak periods of history, um, tomb raiders will just raid these tombs because it's a pyramid, everybody knows that it's a king there, and they used to bury all the gold and everything that's precious to the king in the tomb, right? So it's like an invitation, okay? So during the week periods, tomb raiders will invade the tombs and take everything they can. They didn't like that, of course. So they decided to bury the kings in underground tombs. Okay, and that's where the value of the kings came. Okay, uh, and they would put all kinds of spells 
on the walls. Okay. Um, all the Egyptians, ancient Egyptians, uh, they believed in that uh, the afterlife, and that's why they devoured everything that's precious to the king, or the person that that died with him. So when he he came back to life, um, in the afterlife, he will take, he will have everything he needs. Okay. Even his internal organs, they will have spe like special containers with them inside. So basically, maybe put them back on. I don't know. Okay. So they will put the spells on the walls, all kind of spells, right? Um, some of the spells will like a cheat code for the king uh, or the person that dies to tell him what he should be doing or what he should be saying through, during the, the trial of the afterlife, okay? Other spells, which is, that is the interesting part when you're trying to set maybe a custom campaign is transform like a transformation spells that gets the uh, the dead person to walk among the living okay whether in his true form or <coughs> in a different form he's tra he transforms to an animal or whatever okay so that is very interesting i found it very interesting uh, so i thought about having a theme around it uh, a book maybe the walls altar um i don't know i didn't think about it yet uh, but i want to have like something very powerful to reflect that theme okay i'll put a link as well in the video in the youtube uh, uh, channel about the spells but you have all kind of interesting spells that you could have ideas around when you setting your custom campaign okay and related to it a little bit is the curse of the pharaohs of course the curse of the pharaohs is a myth <coughs> that came uh, by when the tomb of king tut and Kamun was um, invaded opened according to my knowledge that's the only tomb that was um, opened that was sealed actually since the ancient times and was the first time to be opened uh, that's why they have a lot of things you know like uh, they found in that tomb that they didn't find in the others maybe big kings like great kings and there's not much there uh, but for King Tutankhamun, they found literally everything. It was sealed, right? All members that participated in um, that discovery, when they opened the tomb, all of them had weird deaths, right? So I put a link as well about that. Um, it's interesting, uh, weird, interesting. I'm not sure what's but have went there um, but that's where the curse of the pharaohs came to place right um, interesting part is that King Tut and Kamun uh, died as a teenager okay 18 or 19 years old um, his father and son uh, sorry and mother um, his father was uh, Akhenaton okay uh, or Akhenaten, maybe put it in English. We, we call it Echnaton, right in Arab, Echnaton, okay? Um, he was, uh, he made a lot of changes in terms of religion, right? So he, he called one God, okay? And uh, instead of Aton, Amun, he called it Aton and stuff like that. So basically, <coughs> they called him a heretic, he and his wife. Okay, Nefertiti, uh, it's very famous. Um, so they call them uh, heretics and they wiped everything that has to do with them from the walls, from the history, even from like the, the big thing that has all the king's names. They don't have these names. So part of it is their son, Tutankhamun. Okay, he was Tutankhamun. Okay, and then he changed his name to Tutankhamun, and uh, 
just showing his goodwill that he went back to the ancient Egyptian uh, beliefs uh, but still they wiped everything about him as well so died a teenager uh, everything about him was wiped from the recorded history so it made it very hard for uh, thieves to find his tomb okay and maybe that was the good thing <clears throat> that it was the only uh, tomb that was unraided and it shows a lot uh, of the uh, positions a lot of the things we learned a lot from it okay but again that's that's the story behind it uh, again you could use that in your uh, campaigns so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about having a set around that uh, curse of the pharaohs okay and sphinx we all know sphinx right there is a big myth um, about an underground city that its entrance is under the sphinx itself um, it was mentioned by some of the historians one of them I don't know uh, I don't remember his name the Greek uh, Greek historian that visited Egypt in the ancient times and he mentioned that and again it was mentioned over and over in some parts here and there uh, some place like a big uh, library underneath the, the Sphinx some place big city uh, tunnels whatever okay whether that is a myth or reality I don't know but we're speaking about games here so that's a very good thing to think about um, if you want to have again a custom campaign and you have that underground city uh, under the Sphinx you could do that um, yeah and that's about it I just forgot to show the drummer okay you'll get that in the corset as well okay here we go And um, deciding for Bannerman as well, so drummer and a Bannerman. Okay, um, that was it. Create a lot mess here. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, of course, uh, let me know. Uh, any recommendations, um, any ideas, any things to improve. I'm all ears. I love to hear feedback all the time. It's gonna be my first campaign. Um, I don't know what to expect I did my best to have a very strong campaign um, high quality miniatures um, great theme um, I hope you like it and I hope that was gonna be the first of many to come uh, thinking about Arabian Nights to complete maybe or to combine with this one for the desert theme um, the Egyptian was very rich I couldn't actually add um, any sub themes to it uh, on the contrary like I actually removed a lot of ideas I had uh, like I was thinking about having um, king rooms you know uh, thrones um, different type of kings like uh, Tutankhamun um, himself I mean Cleopatra Nefertiti you know all of these very famous kings have them in the game uh, but again not matching maybe the uh, the uh, lore of the Dungeons and Dragons so I thought mm, maybe I wasted my time doing, doing them so I did the guys I know that they are uh, part of the uh, lore and um, that's it you know again if you have any feedback just let me know uh, I'll make a little one more video uh, it's gonna be like very very small video about the add-ons okay I'll show the um, some of the miniatures I have designed before and have them in the add-ons if you would not part of my patreon 
um, it's a good chance to check them out and uh, they'll have them like really cheap prices I like, think at five dollars per pack uh, except for one pack which is again the Egyptian pack it's a huge pack maybe it's ten dollars or split it with five and five I don't know yet um, so yeah thank you